Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. I've got something might be a bit special today, might be a bit jobby. Uh, this is from Farm Foods, a place I don't go very often. But this is their kebab monster, fully loaded. Piled high with chicken and beef kebab, roasted chicken, red onion and grilled peppers with a tangy BBQ sauce. Whoa. So, this is a big old pizza. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to fit this in the frame, but hey, there you go. It looks quite good next to my lovely face, doesn't it? Uh, so it's a 12-inch takeaway style base. As you can see, it's got the kebab, meat, peppers, onions, chicken, and a lovely wee sauce on the bottom. So I thought this sounded really good. Um, it was actually quite cheap. It was like £2 for this big giant pizza. So I'm not complaining about the price, even if this is bad. It's a lot of food for, for X to no money. So yeah, I love a kebab. Absolutely love a kebab. And it's been a long time since I've been to to farm foods. I mean, the, the main reason I actually go to farm foods is just to buy their uh, frozen kebab meat because they do a kebab meat and um, it's the nicest frozen one that I've I've found, to be honest. Um, I've tried all these microwave kebabs and they're kind of rubbish and I've, I've had, uh, I think Iceland do one that comes in a bag and it's just the meat and that stuff's really horrible. It tastes like vomit. It's, it's gross. Uh, whereas this is, this is, this this, not this stuff, I don't know about this stuff, but the farm food stuff is quite nice. So that's the only reason I really go there. But I decided to pick up a few things while I was there and review them since you know, I don't go to farm foods that often. So I've got this, I've got a few other farm foods items as well that we'll try later on. So this cooks from frozen 15 to 18 minutes. It's pretty straightforward. You chuck it in the oven. Boom. I only made half of it today because it is a big pizza and it's only lunchtime. I'm not really having this for my dinner. So, uh, and quite frankly, half of this is huge. So I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that amount of pizza. It means I can have it again another day if I, if I enjoy it. So, kebab monster. Uh, yeah, this um, sounds good and it's huge. So there's your uh, list of ingredients if you're interested in seeing what's all in it. There's quite a lot of ingredients in it. Uh, lots of E numbers I can see, which uh, means there's lots of preservatives, which isn't a good thing necessarily, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, so let me see. Where is this made? I'm curious to know where this is made. Uh, keep frozen. Produced and packed in Italy with meat from the EU. Interesting. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, you can contact info at farmfoods.co.uk. I should r rally up all these emails and just email them and say, hey, I review stuff. Can you send me some free stuff so I can re review it? Just to see what they say. You know, some companies might respond and go, yeah, man, let's do it because they'll do it for goodwill. But uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Maybe make a video out of it. That's a good idea. Hey, let's email all these companies and see what happens. You never know. Anyway, I'm... Spitballing here. Uh, um, let me see, is there any other info on here apart from the nutritional information? Not really. So, nutritional information. Now, this whole pizza is 645 grams, and I'm going to eat about half of it for my lunch. So, well, I would say you, you would probably, per person, you buy this for two people, eat half of it each, have a wee side salad or something. That's probably a reasonable dinner, right? Uh, so, we'll, we'll take everything here. And um, it's per 100 grams, so we'll have to kind of estimate how much half of this will be or give a, a reasonable estimate. So half of this would be about 225 grams, so times everything by just over three. Okay, so nutritional information, energy, so calories, 228 calories per 100 grams. So you're talking about, for half of this, about 700 calories, probably a bit more than that. Uh, fat, 7 grams, so there's about 22, 23, 24 grams of fat in half of this pizza, which is quite a lot. Uh, saturates, 2.7 grams per 100, so yeah, not far off 10 grams of saturated fats in here, uh, which is uh, half your daily allowance, so that's pretty bad. Of course, it's covered in cheese and kebab meat, so uh, I'm, let's be honest, we're not surprised. Uh, carbs, 30 grams, so there's about 100 grams of carbs in here, that's a lot. Uh, it's all the bread, I suppose. Uh, 3.8 grams of that sugar, so again, about 10 grams of sugar. Uh, 10 grams of protein, so probably about 35 grams, 32.5 grams of protein, something like that. Uh, salt, 1.29 grams of salt, so um, almost about 4 grams, 4, 4 or 5 grams of salt. So, 
yeah, ultimately, uh, it does actually give you your reference intake on there as well, which uh, most of these ones don't do, and it gives you like a percentage. So this is about, yeah, d d just over almost 40% of my calories for the day. Um, of course, it's not like I stick to my calories anyway, I'm a fat bugger. Right, kebab monster. So there's your cervix suggestion. There's what it looks like on the box. And let's show you the, the thing. I've got it here on my wee cutty board. There it is. You know what? I, I would say that looks pretty similar to the box. Um, yeah, right amount of sort of cheese, right amount of toppings. Um, this bit's maybe got a few less toppings. I could, could have spread them out a bit more, but I would say that looks all right. That looks like the picture, so okay so far, you know, passing the test so far. I really want to eat this. I'm very, uh, it, it smells good. I have to say, it does smell good. All right, so this is Farm Foods Kebab Monster, fully loaded. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? Take the big bit because it's got all the tappings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dropping toppings everywhere. Mm. Just gonna have one more bite. One more bite. Okay. That's about what I expected. Um, it's not blowing my mind or anything. I'm not saying that it's going to blow you away, but it's about what I expected. You know, it's a cheap pizza, so I don't expect too much with cheap pizzas. I mean, with most cheap pizzas, you end up with like about three shreds of cheese and three pepperonis on it. Um, well, that's actually not bad. You know, it's got plenty of cheese, so you get the nice cheesiness. The sauce is, um, the sauce is quite runny. The sauce on the base is quite watery, so it's it's a bit. There is a bit of a, a a wetty sort of mushiness to the bite, but a bit messy. But tastes okay. Tastes quite nice. Um, the chicken chicken is quite salty, a bit salty, and it's got a bit of sweetness to it, which is good. The sauce does have a sort of tomatoey. It's a little bit watery, but it is still got the tomatoey flavour. So the sauce is, is all right. Um, plenty of cheese coverage. The kebab meat, I don't think I really tasted that much when I was eating that. So let's try a wee bit. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That kebab meat is better than the kebab meat I buy in the packets. Mmm. Can I just get a big bag of that stuff, please? That's really nice, really herby. Really, um, a lot, lot of seasoning to it. That is lovely. Mmm. You can taste the lamb. You can taste the lamb in that. That's really good. Mmm. Uh, which, um, is weird because it's beef kebab. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's got all the right spices, uh, obviously. It's got the right, the right kebab spices in it. So that's lovely, lovely. Um, I like the base as well. I think I can tear this. So I can get, I don't have to hold this whole bit up, but uh, yeah, I like the base. I mean, the base is, um, you know, it's a little bit floppy, but it's also quite crispy. Uh, so when you bite, so it holds all the toppings. Like, it's not soggy. Um, all the toppings aren't just sliding off. And I got a lovely bit of crispiness to the base as well. Try a bit of the, um, a bit of the crust, I suppose. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy, and then because the cheese is all sort of out to the edges, get like the lovely bit of sort of burnt kind of um, crispy cheese on the crust, which I love. I think it's brilliant. This is a good bloody pizza. This is nice. This is so good. Like, honestly, this is probably one of the best frozen pizzas I've had in a long time. I eat a lot of frozen pizzas. Normally, I just buy the ones out of... Uh, 
you know, Sainsbury's or, or Morrison's or Tesco or whatever, and they're like a pound, you know, in the freezer section. And those pizzas are generally okay. You know, they're all right. But um, this is good. This is really good. I mean, quality-wise, I don't know what the quality's like. I don't really particularly care what the quality of it is like. But that's nice. It's got a good flavour. It's got a good base, a good solid base with crispiness, holds all the toppings, doesn't get soggy. It's got a nice, nice amount of cheese. The sauce... Could be the sauce could be a bit better. Um, it's a little bit watery, but apart from that, it tastes okay. And uh, the toppings are really good. That kebab meat is lovely. The chicken has got a nice bit of sweetness to it. And then you add in the the peppers and the onions, you get a bit a bit more crunch and a bit more sweetness. The only thing I'm sort of not seeing is the the barbecue sauce. It says it comes with a tangy barbecue sauce, which uh, I'm not finding anywhere. But to be honest, I'm I'm not bothered because that's fine without it. And I really like it. Yeah, well done farm foods, you know, I like farm foods, you know, I'm not complaining about farm foods, um, yeah, farm foods is cheap, yeah, it is, but, uh, you know, a lot of farm food stuff is quite good, you know, if, especially if you if you know what you're looking for, uh, so yeah, definitely would recommend that pizza, it's huge, 12 inches, it's huge, that's enough for, for two, three, maybe even four people, depending on what you're having with it, or like a family or something, that's a big pizza, you know, so, that's that's good. It's good value. You know, very very cheap. Good value for money, and it tastes great. Uh, so yeah, good one. Absolutely, would recommend one hundred percent. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to go and finish the rest of this because it's fucking delicious. I'm sorry for the swear words, but uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Hit the wee bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out. Uh, like the video. Give me a comment. Let me know if you've tried this or if you want me to try anything else from Farm Foods, and uh, go in the description and have a look at all my uh, socials and all that sort of stuff, you know, I've got Instagram and uh, Facebook and TikTok and all that sort of stuff, so go and do all that. And uh, yeah, here's hoping that the next item is just as good as, as this one, Primo, one of the best things I've reviewed on here, for sure, in a while. Thanks very much, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Catch you then.